hey, Flurbert, Sana here. So, um, yeah, I promised you to deliver a, um, how do you call it, a tutorial for changing, like, the, all the stuff, all the good stuff in this, uh, in this project that we're working on. So, if you haven't seen part two, uh, and part one and two, then you should definitely go check that out. Uh, there will be a thingy uh, somewhere, or a link in the description. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, how do we, how do we get this stuff working? Eventually, I was planning to do it, like a tutorial on putting all this stuff into the NM character man. So all the demo character stuff I would like to like port over to the Animan. Um but that was like really hard and it um it broke like everything I I did. So uh I, then I have to fix it and I was well on my way on like getting the tutorial done but um uh, yeah, it did not work for a tutorial because it was going to take like five hours. Anyway, let's just build everything back to how it was. So vehicle player for the player controller class and the demo character for the default pawn class. And now we have everything back. So we can get out of the vehicle, get into the vehicle. That's all cool. Okay. Um... Now what? Open up your demo character. Uh, let's put this over here and now go to fell and reparent uh, the blueprint. I found out this was also a possibility and then choose animan character BP. This one. Yes. Just hit compile and that's it. We're done. This is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. Haha, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, we still have to do some stuff. It's not like easy, easy. Okay? But it, it, it's good, it's good. Uh, just just uh, add some stuff. Uh, event begin play. So, uh, we want to call the parent function. Um, basically, this, this will push the begin play to the uh, the ls character and it will enable like all the good stuff that we that we want that's for as far as i understand it okay okay um let's make this night and tight N nice and th okay let's make this beautiful now select the mesh and just hit the reset button because we are actually using the animan um as like the base of the the thingy, uh, and select the animation class for the animation thing. You just do what I did there. Okay, okay. Um, there is some thing about collision, but I couldn't bother because look, it works, and uh, we get fancy underwear, and we can enter a vehicle. That's all cool. But if we now exit the vehicle, all seems to be okay. But when you jump, it, it looks like shit. This guy totally forgets how to how to jump. He also forgets how to mantle, how to climb, all that uh, all that jazz. So we have to fix that. Um, but first, we do not want to toggle the mannequin mesh. That's that's shit. We don't we don't want that. So disable that in the ALS NM character BP. Um, and then, 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 what else? Um, what work? Oh, right, underwear. That's, that's like, um, yeah. Okay, uh, wh where do we fix this mesh material? Uh, mesh material, mesh material. Uh, it, it should be set material... Oh, there you go. Set mesh material. I knew it was here. Um, and now we have to basically put in like the source material. 
uh, and that will be the material that's that's all over the um, this one. Yes. So uh, NMN default just NMN default. So does M underscore NMN default. There you go. Save. That's cool. And now we don't have fancy underwear anymore. Very, 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 very cool. Okay, uh what else? Um okay, now now to fix the the animations when you come out of the vehicle. Um it's somewhere over here. Uh how do we Oh right, so um with like attached to vehicle in the function attached to vehicle in the demo base character there's this driver animation make a reroute node and delete this and then um no yes um maybe i don't know what i'm trying to say okay just make a new reroute node add reroute node yes and then we can delete this thingy beautiful uh, why do I do this? Because every time I break something, I literally broke like this line. Um, I, I I don't want to like be remembering what I broke and then find out it doesn't work and then try to fix it and mess it up even more. So I just leave like useless notes over there and. Um, and that's basically it. But now I want to do one more thing. Because I don't know if you guys could see it. But I, I could see it. Uh, when you enter a vehicle. You want to set the collisions. To no collision. And set the visibility of the mesh. To no visibility. I don't get why why it creates like this extra um, this extra node but we can just delete it because this was already connected right okay compile save so uh, this should be it that was like rather quick wasn't it we can now enter a vehicle we're not no longer visible we can exit the vehicle we can r walk around we can um, drive. If we exit, we just jump out. And we can spawn a new vehicle, make it a compactor, and we will be invisible instead of standing in, a, in an A pose somewhere where no one can see us. Okay, what else? Uh, on this try interact, uh, this is like a bonus tip. For this uh, part of the tutorial, um, you can set the draw debug type to none, and I also like to make this number a little bit bigger, 1500 instead of like 1000. That's the distance uh, for the interact line trace. So now from 1500 meters away, you can enter a vehicle. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing. It's totally free and you can also unsubscribe uh, whenever you like. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down and tell me in the comments what you didn't like. Um, I hope to see you all in the next one. This is Fleurbert, out. Bye.